What's poppin' YouTube and welcome to my channel, Ashley Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. Back with another video for y'all. And this video right here is gonna be an introduction to a brand new series. But before I go into in the before I get into the series, I gotta give y'all like a like an intro one-on-one -on -one for beginners video. And that's gonna be on numerology. Numbers have energy, everything has energy, everything has vibrations. Numbers especially have energies and we see numbers everywhere we go on TV When watching sports when we're driving around we see numbers all the time when we're reading at work everywhere we go We see numbers. So What I'm gonna try and do is make y'all conscious make y'all make y'all aware of the energies and vibrations that numbers have Especially when it's within you like when you look at your birthday and you look at yourself for the self-knowledge and the self-love and the self-awareness I'm gonna help y'all understand how like your life path number, and that's like a section in numerology. Numerology is a broad topic. It gets hella, hella deep. The same way astrology gets deep, that you're not just one sign, you have a moon sign, a rising sign, you got all these aspects and all that. Numerology gets hella, hella deep. But I'm just gonna give y'all like a basic understanding of, of like the most crucial part of numerology, of numerology that you have to understand, which is your life path number. Now, numerology, there's like five numbers that are important. We got the life path. We got the soul urge number. We got the birth date number, which is like the number that you were born, your birthday. Like I was born on March 25th, so my birth date number would be 25. We have the name number, which is taking your name. And there's a chart that you could take your name, the letters in your name, convert them to numbers and add it up. Like I said, it gets mad deep. And then we have the personality number. But what I'm going to do right now is just start off with the life path number. The series is going to be life path numbers. I'm going to help y'all understand what it means. I'm going to help y'all understand how to get it. I'm going to help y'all understand how the life path number pertains to your life. The same way I do with astrology, same way I'm going to do with numerology. So before I start, <clears throat> give y'all some uh, some thoughts that go, go on in my head when it comes to information. All right, so... This is a lot of information that has been taken away from us. There's a lot of inf sacred knowledge that has been stolen from us, that has been taken away from us, that has not been taught to us that we have to know. Like, hopefully by now, y'all know your moon sign, your rising sign, your sun sign. Now imagine when you were in high school, when you were in a public school, like we actually learned about ourselves through astrology. Like imagine us learning about astrology instead of learning about Christopher Columbus sailing the ocean blue. So learning about like the history that was mostly fake in the books and all that. Imagine learning things that really help us get in tune with ourselves, like meditation or like the laws of attraction, how to manifest things. Imagine learning all of that in school. They're not going to teach you all this in school because they want to. And when I say they, I hope you know who I'm talking about. They want to control you. They want to keep you in the energy that you don't know who you are. So if you don't know who you are, you're easily led by people or other forces outside yourself. You're easily like influenced if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what you're made of. So they're not gonna teach you these things in school. So that's why we have to do our own research. Like I'm I'm a teacher, but I'm also a student. Like I'm teaching y'all things, but I'm also learning from y'all and from everybody else. I'm also learning every single day. So we have to take time of our lives, take time out of our lives, to learn and study and research things for ourselves, because we're not gonna be given to it. Whatever society gives you, whatever society promotes, whatever society like puts in your face, usually nine times out of 10 is, is like negative, is bad energy, it's, it's, it's made to keep you vibrating in a low vibration so they can control you. So things like this, numerology, astrology, society, society doesn't really push it in your face, they don't teach it in school. But hopefully by now you peeped that astrology is very real, like that that shit is like true knowledge, like so numerology is the same thing. So understand that self-knowledge, self-awareness is very important and doing your own research is very, very important. So with that with that out the way, let's get it popping, shall we? So numerology, life path number. To figure out your life path number to start off. <clears throat> what you gonna do now? I'm gonna move to the side a little bit so I get some space so I can put the numbers up on the screen. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your whole birthday and write it out. So, in my case, I was born on March 25th, 1995. So, I'll do 03 for March, 
and make it space make space it out and put it in categories from your month your day to the year so in my case I got <clears throat> March number three put that to the side March 25th so 25 that's a day put that to the side 1995 put that to the side so after you have that what you're gonna do is add up the two digits of each section so if you were born in December it will be 12 you do one plus two equals three, so you have three. In my case, I have March, so three. I'm gonna leave the three there, so put that to the side. And I'll go to the day. In my case, it's 25. Two plus five is seven, so you're gonna have seven. When you have two numbers, you add them up to reduce it. So I got March three, put it to the side, plus the two plus five, the 25th, is equal seven, so three plus seven. And then the year, I'm born in 1995, so you're going to add up 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 5. Whatever year you're born, you're going to add up each digit by itself. And in my case, that's going to equal to 6. So I put that to the side. So I have 3, 7, and 6. Now I'm going to add these three numbers together. 3 plus 7 plus 6, and that equals to 16. Now that number alone, 16, is also has energy to it. Also has a lot of like meaning to it. Every single, there's no coincidence. <laughs> there's no coincidences in life. I want y'all to keep keeping that in mind and make sure you really understand that everything happens for a reason. You, your soul has a purpose. Like you, you came on this earth for a reason. You came here to learn a lesson. You came here to grow. You came here to to carry out your life purpose. And like I said. We weren't taught this growing up. We weren't taught this in public school. So a lot of us are walking around not knowing who we are at all, like having no self-knowledge. And that's so, so sad because you're just living life by how somebody set it up for you kind of thing. Instead of you like looking within yourself and seeing what kind of energies you have and you can create whatever life you want. But anyway, so like I said, <clears throat> so I got three, seven, and six. Three plus seven plus six equals 16. That number, like I said, very important. So now, whatever, whenever you get two digits, you wanna um, reduce it to one. So six plus one equals seven. So that means life path number seven. I'm a life path number seven. Now, if you have number, when you, when you do the math and it comes out to number 11, 22, or 33, see how those are repeating? Two ones, two twos, two threes. Those are called master numbers. You're not gonna reduce it you're gonna leave it how it is. So if it's 11, you're gonna leave it at 11, your life path number 11. If it's 22, you're gonna leave it at your life path number 22. If it's 33, you're gonna leave it at life path number 33. Now, all that means, and I'm gonna have a whole series talking about each number. I'm gonna have a video on each number separately. You already know, I'm gonna go in. Don't even worry about the information, I got gotcha. y'all. But basically, massive numbers are like amplified numbers. So massive number 11, one plus one equals two, so it'll be like an amplified number two. Life path number 22, two plus two is four, it'll be like an amplified life path number four. And life path number 33, three plus three is six, it's like an amplified number six, okay? So that's how you figure out your life path number. That's the most significant number in numerology for yourself. The same way astrology has this thing to learn about yourself, Numerology has this thing to learn about yourself. All I'm trying to do is make it make it cool, make it look cool, make it have like bring awareness to learning about yourself. Like nobody wants to teach us about ourselves. They want to teach us how to look outside of ourselves. They want to teach us how to be controlled. They want to teach us how to be sheep. Nobody wants to teach us how to do things for ourselves. School will never teach you how to start your own business. They want to teach you how to go to school to get a better job to work for somebody and instead of like teaching you how to like be yourself basically. So anyway, I keep going back to that, but I wanna make sure y'all understand that doing your own research is very, very important. So now that you did the math and now my videos, you know how I'm always like, if you looked at your birth chart, your natal chart and you realize you're yada yada, this is the videos for you. Now I'm gonna be like, if you did your math and you realize you're a yada yada, this video is for you. So do your math. I taught you how to do the math, take your month, take your day, take your year, separate it, add up the two digits in your in your month, add up the two digits in your year in your day, add up the, the four digits in your um year, put it down, 
and then add those three numbers up, you're gonna get a two digit number, add those two numbers up, unless it's 11, 22, and 33, then that will give you your life path number. And that number, that vibration of that number has a predominant effect on your life. Understand that, this is very serious. Like, if, if it's the first time you learning about this, you're really about to learn a lot about yourself. So, like I said, I'm gonna have a video on each number, breaking it down. But just to give you all like a brief, uh, brief, in like a brief explanation on each number real quick. It's like very brief. Like I said, I'm, I'm breaking down in um, my series. But number one, if you're life path number one, number one is the first life path number. So it's the beginning of everything, beginning of life. It's the leader. It stands by itself. It can be egotistical sometimes, but it's all about being a leader, being uh, confident in myself. And it's also the father figure in the in numerology. Life path number two, it has to do with like uh, being dip diplomatic, having balance. It could be like the Libra energy, very nurturing, very kind, very peacekeeping. You can also um, tie in numerology to astrology with the energy. So look at number two as like the Libra type energy, like nurturing, balance. It can have problems not making decisions because it always wants to please both parties. The same way Libra has, has problems um, making decisions because it doesn't want to hurt nobody. It can have that same problem because it deals with duality basically. Number three, if your life path number three it has to do with creative energy. Oh, I'm sorry. Number two is also the mother. Life path number one is the father. Life path number two is the mother. Life path number three is the is a child, and it has to do with creativity. So we could pertain that to like I'm gonna say like Leo energy kind of thing. It's all about expressing yourself, being creative. Anything that has to do with imagination too. I guess it could do with Pisces energy, being imaginative in the mind. But imagination, being creative, like childlike energy, I can have a problem being too creative, not being like solid and being like practical. It could be more on the imagine, imagine, <laughs> imaginative side and not being in the practical side. So that's life path number three. That's a child. Life path number four, the way the four is shaped, you can even look how it looks like it's strong, it's structured, it has 90 degree angles, like it's structured. Life path number four has to do with building, being practical, being structured, working very hard for everything that you desire. You can pertain that to like the Capricorn work ethic, like works and grinds to reach to the top. So four is about structure, four is about building. Building is like a key word for number four, being a builder and building up to things that you love. Uh, life path number five is about freedom. So you could kind of pertain that to like the Sagittarius energy. Life path number five hates being confined, hates being like <clears throat> pinned down. They love freedom. They love expressing themselves freely. All about communication and, and being free, like free energy, like the Sagittarius energy. They can have problems not um, being good at not being good at commitments. They can have problems being hard to tie them down. But that's just the um, because the negatives and positives to every single sign. So number five, freedom, Sagittarius energy. Number six has to do with like relationships and the unit, somebody bringing people together. It's like, is this basically relationships and marriage and is it bringing people together kind of thing. Like, they can have a problem being like codependent because always wants to be around people, always wants to be in relationships, always feels a need that they have to be with somebody. It's all about bringing people together into like a unit, like it unifies people and bring them together. Usually like a family unit, so like a like marriage or a relationship. That's life path number six. Life path number seven, which is uh, your boy Lil Finesse, life path number seven, which is also why I have number seven as my logo in my YouTube channel. Also why my Instagram, 257, 2 plus 5 is 7, all that ties in. Life path number seven is the spiritual number. They said in the Bible, uh, God rested on the seventh day, the seven days in the week. Seven is just like a very strong spiritual number. So if you life path number seven, you're going to be very into doing research like I do very into um, uh, astroteric or <laughs> as <a> <laughs> esoteric knowledge. Damn, what the fuck? Esoteric knowledge. You're gonna be into spirituality. You're gonna be really low key as well. You're gonna be really, you're gonna be really into your like into your inner inner strength. It's all about being inner strength. So you're gonna have a problem, or the negative is you're gonna always want to be by yourself. You're gonna have, find it hard to connect with people because you're always gonna be like within yourself, trying to learn about yourself. You go, you're very deep within yourself. Number seven 
is being analytical, is being research, researching things and being deep within yourself. So for your life path number seven, you have to work on bringing out your knowledge because you're, you're always researching, you're very analytical, you gotta bring out the knowledge to people. And that's what I do in my YouTube channel is like I help y'all learn about yourself because I have a complete understanding of myself because I study and I research a lot. Life path number eight, eight represents like power, represents being like the CEO, represents like putting yourself in positions to make a lot of money. Just it's all about power and being recognized as the boss, as like as the king, as the queen. It's like all about it's all about just power basically. Putting yourself in positions to be powerful. Negative side is you could be you could be too like egotistical about yourself. You could you could feel like you're above everybody else cuz you feel like you're too powerful and all that. But like I said, I'm going to break all these numbers down in my videos. And lastly, not lastly, but life path number nine is the be is the ending. Life path number nine represents like universal love. You could put that to like the Aquarius energy. Life path number nine is like the humanitarian. It cares about the humanity as a whole. So it's like Aquarius energy is like life path number nine. Like you could say universal love. Like it loves everybody, wants to take care of everybody, has a has a heart, has a caring, passion, passionate heart for the whole collective of humanity. And now life path number 11, like I said, is an amplified life path number two, because one plus one is two. Life path number 22 is an amplified life path number four, because two plus two is four. And life path number 33 is an amplified life path number six, because three plus three is six. So that was just a basic, that was very basic of just all the, of the 12 numbers, 12 numbers, 12 signs is that a coincidence no because there's no coincidences <laughs> uh, there's no coincidences in life so understand that everything ties in perfectly like if you're really self-aware and you can see the patterns in life you really have a good understanding of things and this is why i love learning about this which is why i love studying this this is why i'm such a nerd for like information like this now there's a lot of youtubers out there that have um, numerology videos already you could go check them out my personal favorite is um, you should go you should go check out this goddess. Her name is Kathy. Her YouTube channel name is Soul and Vibration. She's popping as fuck. She's also at life path number seven. So you know she's very analytical and very deep. She's a Scorpio, so she's she's hella deep in her information. And she's a homie, so go give her some love. Uh, Soul and Vibration. I'll put her link in her YouTube channel in the description below. I definitely learned a lot from her, and she just uh, she's just a cool ass person. So yeah, so I want y'all um to. Do the math right now. I'm, I put this video out so y'all could do the math so that when I make my series, you already know where your life path is. You're not gonna be like, how do you find how do you find out your life path number? All that I want you to do the math right now. Take your month, take your day, take your year, separate it, add up the two digits in your day, <laughs> add up the two digits in your month, the two digits in your day, and the four digits in your year. Get the number, add up those three numbers, and that's your life path number right there. So boom. My next video is going to be on life path number one. I'm going to start off the series. So do the math. Do your own research, y'all. Make sure y'all really care about learning about yourself. Self-love is super important. Self-awareness is super important. You can't love yourself if you don't know yourself. I'm going to help y'all on this journey of self-love and self-knowledge. If you have subscribed to my channel, you already know. I fuck with you heavy, for real, for real. The Jiggy Hickey... <laughs> Why do I keep stuttering on my words today? The Jiggy Hippie Committee is growing hella crazy. I appreciate all y'all. If you're new to this channel, welcome. You're about to be put on to a lot of information that hopefully you know a little bit of, but it's not your fault if you don't know because we have been brainwashed to not know about ourselves. But if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. It's your boy, Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'ma see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Oh, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Drink your water. <laughs> Mind your business and be safe. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.